Big Ten Saturday night is presented by Discover. Here in East Lansing, Spartan Stadium welcomes in the number two Michigan Wolverines and Michigan State. Losers of four in a row, but boy, do they get juiced up for this matchup. A rivalry and a battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy here in East Lansing. The fans are revved up back on first down. Pitch it. Corum. Good blocking. And he picks up six. Second down and three. McCarthy to the air for the first time. Dump it down for Corum with a lot of room in the first down. A nice little check down. Zone coverage by Michigan State. And two years ago was a loss to Michigan State in this very building. Corum, another carry. This time he's going nowhere. Bottled up at the line of scrimmage. Donovan Edwards, who's seen his yards per carry really dip this year. 7.1 a year ago, 3.3 so far. It scores first touchdown last week. Second and 14 throw. McCarthy incomplete. Looking for Wilson and broken up. Great play by Angelo Gross because it was single coverage side of the Michigan offensive line. Loveland the tight end in motion. McCarthy patient. Rolls McCarthy buying time fires on the road. He's got it first down beautiful throw and catch for Barner 22 yards. Well, this is what kills you you get him in the situation you want and then JJ McCarthy extends the play Keeps his eyes downfield and he's been doing this all season. He's been completing over 80% of his passes on third down which is an incredibly high number. This is third and more than ten. excellent at moving on the scramble drill with their quarterback. That's up first down on midfield. And McCarthy, another completion this time. Cornelius Johnson going to stretch for the first down. The largest margin of victory on the season. The Wolverines dominant, especially in that third quarter again. And off Corum. Got hit initially, but just keeps surging forward. So good after contact and picks up three. Against a Michigan offense. Forum stays in there, heavily featured on this opening drive. And he's got the pill. Forum bottled up again. Gets that extra yard or two. It'll be third and short. That was big shot on big shot. Defense in the Big Ten. Michigan has been outstanding offensively on third down. Over the middle. McCarthy complete. Roman Wilson in stride. First and goal. They put Wilson in motion and he got stacked right behind Loveland. It's zone defense and nobody picked up the crosser. High percentage of touchdowns for the Michigan offense in the red zone, mainly because of that guy. Forum, who's got 12 rushing touchdowns on the year, leads all of FBS. Corum on second down. Corum fighting for it. And they are going to have him just short at the half yard line. And now Trente Jones, number 93, over here is an actual tackle. Trouble with the snap. Corum's got it anyway. Plunges forward. No signal yet. He was clearly in the end zone. And he is. Touchdown, Michigan. A good job by J.J. McCarthy securing the snap because he did bobble it. Coming out, away from center. The snap from Drake Nugent, a little bit bobbled. Just, it wasn't a clean handoff. But Corum didn't need a whole lot of space. 13th touchdown of the season. Some slow starts. Not today. Right down the field, and they lead 7-0 after Corum continues to put points on the board. 13 touchdowns for the senior, and he gets the job done to cap off a fantastic opening drive for the number two team in the country. Between these two teams was overshadowed by a post-game altercation in which Michigan defensive backs Jaden McBurrows and Jamon Green were assaulted by Michigan State players in Michigan Stadium's tunnel. The incident led to criminal charges against seven Michigan State players. He was a member of UConn's football team a year ago, got hurt in Ann Arbor, transferred to Michigan State, and has been a pleasant surprise. But he's going backwards on this second down carry. Quick penetration by Braden McGregor, and it's third and long. Second career start, third and ten. 
Good protection. Hauser, dump it down. Carter has to get away. He does, and Carter's got the first down. Well, that's a perfect example of what Nathan Carter does. It is something he's really worked on trying to perfect. There on the pass protection, and the first completion on the outside to a wide receiver, Trey Mosley. Par the motion man. Hauser back to the air. Flip it. Berger, the catch. And a three-yard pickup, but a flag is down. Especially with a new quarterback. Delayed handoff. Berger. Not a whole lot of space to work with. Maybe games three. And it's third and 15. Nobody on that defensive front, that defensive line area, has played more than 35 snaps in a game. Here's third and 15 for Hauser. Under pressure, delivers a strike. Can they get to the marker? Foster is short. It'll be decision time at midfield. Fourth down and about three. Will Johnson makes the tackle after the 13-yard pickup. Stout on a fourth down this year, allowing just four of 15 conversions. Handoff up the middle. Carter looks like he's short. Not going to get it. The extra push at the end, but his forward progress was stopped a yard shy. And Michigan gets the stop. Well, you mentioned how good they've been on fourth down. Junior Colson, number 25, was the first guy to get there. Going on the field. Carter didn't have anywhere to run, and Michigan with a stand early. For Nate Carter. So a turnover on downs. Now Michigan's offense already up 7-0 back on the field. And McCarthy on play action going to dial it up over the middle. Dangerous throw is caught. Nice grab by Barner for a first down. And they really feel like A.J. Barner and Colston Loveland are interchangeable as tight ends. Both have excellent receiving skills. That ball is very close, but J.J. put it on the outside. Signage only behind Bo Nix entering the week. Incredibly efficient. He's 6 of 7 to start today. And that was a dangerous handoff right there and a devour by Aaron Brule. Try to put him behind the chain. McCarthy. Right back to Boner, and right at the line of scrimmage, it's Brule again. Big play. Michigan State showing pressure with the linebackers up, but they'll probably drop out. Swing it. Edwards. Catch. Run. Blocking. Edwards. First down. In the entire country behind only Utah and Georgia. Fresh set of downs. McCarthy. In trouble. Gets away on the run. Touchdown! Roman Wilson does it again. His 10th of the season from 25 yards out. Well, again, it's the scramble rule. It's McCarthy extending the play and the receiver seeing his quarterback move and reacting. Roman Wilson is going to run a post, but then he sees his quarterback move, and so he moves. He's not open here, but he sees his quarterback moving, so he adjusts, and McCarthy hits him for the touchdown. This year when he scrambles, he scrambles the throw. To just showcase that difference, last year Cornelius Johnson led the team with six receiving touchdowns. That was number 10 for the new number one in Ann Arbor. The third and 14 that they converted. Pitch it, Carter. Stonewall at the line of scrimmage. Josiah Stewart, quick burst to the running back. This year. Hauser on second down. And that's batted down at the line. Kenneth Grant got a hand on it. Car yet either. Hauser looking, firing, nearly intercepted. He was looking for car double coverage, and Josh Wallace just drops the pick. Now that was a tough one because they played so well for three quarters. And really had no business losing the game. Put you back to Corum. And the shimmy shake gets him two. Dylan Tatum wraps him up. Arthur already with 129 yards and the touchdown to Wilson. Fred Moore in motion on second down and eight. Dump it down and it's a drop. Corum couldn't handle it. Full house here at Spartan Stadium. Here's McCarthy again. Steps up in the pocket. McCarthy perfectly delivered. Colston Loveland, a first down will take us to the end of the first quarter. Edwards did have the third down conversion on the catch and it will be for him on the handoff just patient running and keeps the legs turning for four 
17 consecutive regular season Big Ten games, 23 overall. Here's second down and five, and Corum dragged forward. It'll be about a half yard shot. Ward's back in there. We'll see if Scotty Hazelton will dial up some pressure at all. And here comes that blitz. McCarthy reads it perfectly in the quick strike to Barner. And the extra effort looks like he may have gotten the first down to make it look simple. 14 of 17 a week ago. Little shovel pitch. Edwards spun forward, picks up nine. A little different wrinkle for this Michigan run game over Indiana at first he was called off it was Corum who got it earlier in the game they got Edwards his touch later to find Pater as Corum does find the first down Halliday wraps him up in the locker room right now fresh set of downs McCarthy well he had Roman Wilson tucks it instead McCarthy extends the play and he can't get away Aaron Brule goes down low and a massive loss it's a touchdown to Roman Wilson. Big spot for this Michigan State defense. Now it looks like a free play. Oh, no, no flag yet. Did come in on the near side. Doesn't matter. Here's a touchdown to Colston Loveland. J.J. McCarthy recognized it, let it rip, and a 22-yard strike to Loveland. And just perfect ball placement. Angelo Gross is in position to make a play. I mean, Angelo Gross, you can't cover a guy any better than he does. And yet the ball is thrown perfectly, and the big body of Colston Loveland just kind of boxes out the smaller defender. Good coverage, better throw. Another touchdown for the Wolverines. And it feels like Loveland just keeps getting better with yeah. each week. Extra point from Turner makes it 21 nothing third consecutive game that he's caught a touchdown pass from JJ McCarthy This one a beauty 21 nothing Michigan Selfish feel to this group Hauser feeling the pressure lets it fly anyway and short and incomplete He was looking for Foster and tight coverage by the freshman DJ Wallace second and ten Handoff Carter and the angry running style is going to get him a few extra yards picks up six when it looked like he was dead to rights after two Michigan team that seems to get better every week Hauser on third and four dials it up rainbow delivery incomplete Sandra Steele is there in coverage is Trey Mosley one of the OGs of this wide receiver room some form of a momentum play right now to get it back in their favor. It's been all Wolverines, both running backs in there. They give it to Coram on first down, and that juke move will get him four. Five. Edwards. Good blocking, and he'll pick up four. Jordan Hall. Peyton Hauser in his second start after going to Rutgers, played pretty well last week, and nearly intercepted there. Yeah, that ball's in the air a long time. A defense in the Big Ten this year managed the game well, but he struggled so far in this first half. There's a pitch to Carter, and he hops forward for three. Well, this is the problem for Michigan State so far tonight is their inability to run the football. I thought they'd be able to this run a team on a mission, the Michigan Wolverines. Seven and all this season, looking to improve to eight and zero and take the ball. But Paul Bunyan Trophy as Barner adds another catch to his tally. Lemish since has not turned the ball over. As they hand it off, Corum disappears in the pile and is awfully close to the sticks. Three games for Michigan State. Second and 12. McCarthy with a blitz. Can he get away? Yes. McCarthy extends the play. Now he'll use his legs. McCarthy at first down. Malik Spencer, Maverick Hansen finally catch up to him. But a big gain of 17 for the QB. See, these are just dagger plays. I mean, this is Halliday and Brule coming on a blitz. Brule can't wrap him up. And McCarthy, see, his eyes are downfield. Touchdowns, one to Wilson and one to Loveland. Second and 10. McCarthy, a oh, dog. And goodness. it's complete. Touchdown number two for Colston Loveland. What a beautiful throw. Right past the ear of Cal Halliday. J.J. saw the coverage. He saw that it was the middle linebacker on his tight end. And he says, I like this matchup. And he throws the ball right past Halliday's ear.
245 sophomores, the extra point from Turner is good. First multi-touchdown game of the career of Loveland. Take a look again now, Halliday turns to run, ball right past him, in between three defenders, a perfect throw by J.J. McCarthy, who now 14 of 17, 206, and three TD. Trending up, played very well against Rutgers last week, but not so much today. Alger's gonna keep, and he goes backwards, loses for Mason Graham right there. Just gets better and better. 39. Hauser feeling the pressure complete. Malik Carr's got the first down. Nate Carter in there on second and two. He's got the football with a big hole. Carter breaks it to the secondary, and he's in the Michigan territory. Seeing Michigan bring the pressure. One play, Carter, and again into the backfield. This Michigan defense has lived there, and Derek Moore makes the play here. Play clock down to five. Hauser had time, floats it over the middle. It's caught. Joyner gets it across the 45 to the 42. Makes it a little bit more manageable on this fourth down. We'll see what Harlan Barnett decides to do when he leaves the offense on the field of the game. Hauser to the sideline, picked off. Mike Sager still, he's got room to run down the sideline. Sager still gonna take it all the way. Touchdown, Michigan. Three flags down. For the time being, it would be the second pick six of the season for the former wide receiver. I think it may be a personal foul on Spencer Brown of Michigan State away from the play a miscommunication on the route and the throw between Trey Mosley and Kaiten Hauser after the play personal foul offense number 58 the actions by number 58 have been ruled to be flagrant Number 58 is ejected from the contest. Wow. Score's good. The pill to be enforced on the kickoff. Well, watch the route on the outside with Mosley and Sainer still. The ball's thrown outside. The receiver went inside. And Sainer is still in the perfect spot and takes it all the way back to the house. It's 72, but they're going to have to double check that he didn't step out of bounds initially. They will review this. And here's that Spencer Brown flagrant personal foul. Oh, yeah, led with the helmet on Braden McGregor. Yeah, McGregor was the first guy with kind of a funky block. Him from when he was a wide receiver. And now the defensive guys love and respect him for what he's done as a DB. He and J.J. McCarthy, two of the most visible leaders, Mikey Sandra still. His second pick six of the season. And Michigan rolling again. See if this Michigan State offense can have their own goldfish mentality. Forget quickly, move on. As they just, even if they start out slowly, which they did not tonight, they just find a way to wear you down, and it starts in the trenches. They are dominant at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. A stupendous job of making sure everybody is prepared every single week. Third down and one. Pitch it. Carter, no running room. Blown up in the backfield by Ernest Hausman. Because the NCAA has moved away from penalties that hurt players who are not involved in rule breaking, but a postseason ban is still an available penalty that they can use for egregious violations or repeat violators. Noah. Thanks so much, Nicole. And this is a little bit more of that rivalry spice. Flag was down initially on the play. Quorum busted off a first down run and then some extracurricular after the fact out of bounds. Personal foul, illegal helmet contact, hands to the face. Defense number 41, 15-yard penalty. After the play, personal foul, late hit, defense number 28. Cool. On the day, he's got 277 yards. 
Corum stays in there. He's got the handoff. Up the middle, spun down, picks up one. Another penalty. Face pass. Defense. Number 41, half the distance to the goal. First down. Well, that's Harman two again. penalties. Two penalties on Harmon. And he won't play many fourth quarters. But he is outstanding. Play action. McCarthy out of the pocket. It's touchdown number four. A.J. Barner finds Pater for the Wolverines. What a career night for A.J. Barner. And he had his choice. He had both tight ends open on this play. He had Colston Loveland open short. And he had Barner open deeper. And he chose the first. Watch, Loveland's going to go out here. Barner's going to cross this way. And he had his choice of either one. Why not throw another touchdown? Probably the last we'll see of J.J. McCarthy tonight. Career high fourth passing touchdown for McCarthy. First receiving touchdown of the season. Fifth of the career of A.J. Barner and the Indiana transfer has had himself a day. Eight catches, 99 yards, and now the score. And when you talk about being among the best in the country, J.J. McCarthy just raises the level of this team. Portal out of Wake Forest had five touchdowns against Michigan that day. Levitt gets sandwiched for another sack. Season that Michigan State took to double-digit wins and then Michigan still took to a college football playoff berth as they ran the table the rest of the regular season and beat Ohio State. Carter gets upended after a gain of three. Next week, he had a big win today at Iowa. Carter looking to bounce it to the outside. He's tripped up. Jaden McBurrows, acting head coach Harlan Barnett. Third and seven. Levitt under pressure, he goes down. The hits keep coming. TJ Guy. Well, they overloaded that side, and it was one too many guys. Most of the Spartans fans gone from this building. The Wolverines fans still here looking for a stop, and they won't get it. Paracheck on the big catch right at the sticks, and they're going to have to confirm it. Close. The way they marked it, it might be a little bit short. It's a nice throw and catch. If it's short, it's a turnover on They're downs, and it is. Measuring it. Wow. On the field. The runner was short of the line to gain. It was fourth down. First down, Michigan. There's that support again. J.J. McCarthy and the Wolverines continue to do no wrong. They're all the way on the top left corner of the stadium. Michigan State kind of putting them in the corner like it's dirty dancing. It doesn't matter here on the tip drill. Another interception. McBurrows takes it away. 11th pick of the season for Michigan, and they're rolling with 310 remaining at Spartan Stadium. Well, tip ball. Wasn't that bad of a pass, just off the hands of Mosley and into the hands of McBurrow. And now McBurrow's. And now the keeper around the corner for a gain of three is going to go to Alex Orgy. It's going to look likely that they'll get to that mark again, but just a dominant effort all the way through as Orgy somersaults forward and it's a first down orgy keeps the hesitation and gets back to the original line of scrimmage the handoff break it hall flag is down and he's pushed backward Flag with 30 seconds left in the game. It would appear so. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear from Ron Snodgrass. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 97. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. That's Maverick Hansen. 
but we'll see if Michigan elects to try to get this into the end zone with orgy or they'll be content just letting this go all the way down. Score could be interesting for some. Orgy following his blockers up the middle and he's got it. Touchdown. Uh, just quarterback lead all the way. He pulled the backside guard, led with the running back. And good hard running by Orgy to get the ball into the end zone. It's got 45 7 on September 30th. They beat Minnesota 52 to 10 on October 7th. Then last week they beat Indiana 52 to 7. And now they're winning by 49 points with eight seconds remaining. Well, I made this comment. This is a team that is focused, laser focused on getting better every week and being dominant. And they have been that. And this is a team that is getting better each time they play. A lot of distraction early in the season, a lot of distraction this week. But it has not seemed to deter or affect this team so far. And off Joyner. Bounce it. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Perfect way to finish a dominant effort from start to finish wire to wire the number two team in the country impressive 49 nothing to retain the Paul Bunyan trophy <laughs> celebration on the field at Spartan Stadium same place that Michigan lost their last regular season game two years ago and Mikey Sane was still the captain who had a pick six today is going to parade that thing around for all the big blue fans that made it through. Forty nine nothing. Michigan improves to eight no as we go downstairs. Catherine Tappet. Coach, the Paul Bunyan Trophy remains with your team, but with all the noise around this team this week, how did you prepare these guys to come out with such a dominant effort? It's been a lot to them. Uh, I thought we were really good. Our guys played really hard. Um, the drop back pass game was especially good. The tight ends had one he heck of a game, and uh, JJ was on fire. Uh, Colson, AJ Barner. I mean, the whole team is a, a heck of a game. Coach, thank you very much. Colson, I got to ask you because how are you? Good. good. <laughs> that one's got to feel pretty good for you. Yeah. Three touchdowns for the tight ends, two for you in particular. Uh, how specific was that in the game plan coming into this game tonight? Uh, you know, didn't, didn't definitely didn't expect it, but like, also we knew we knew what we could do. But uh, I thought both sides of the ball obviously did a great job. There will definitely be some things to clean up, but uh, good win. What does it mean to you when you see what J.J. McCarthy's enthusiasm is for this offense every single play, even when he's not in the yeah. game? Yeah, man, he, that's a leader right there, and uh, that's that, that, we love that quarterback. We wouldn't trade him for anything, and uh, just always has positive vibes, always bringing everyone up around him, and yeah, yeah, we love him. Heading into the bye week, any special plans for you now to get some rest? Uh, yeah, a little bit of rest, but you know, we, we gotta we got Purdue on the clock, so we gotta keep going. All right, Colson, thank you so much. Mikey Sanders still. Come on over here. I bet some Haitian mac and cheese is in the future, huh? You gonna prepare that for your teammates when you get back tonight? Uh, I mean, hopefully I could I could make a platter big enough for the guys. Talk to me about coming into this game tonight. So many emotions with such a big rivalry. What was the game plan for the defense tonight? Uh, just come out here and handle business. You know, the coaches they dialed up a great ga uh, game plan for us. A game plan that was, you know, just go out there. We know you're gonna try uh, trick plays. They didn't try any, surprisingly. Uh, but, you know, they scripted us for success, you know, all week. We were prepared, well prepared. We knew it was going to come. You know, big, big shout out to the coaches. And how difficult is it for you guys week in and week out, knowing that the team you're playing is preparing extra hard for the number two team in the country to come in here? Um, I mean, we prepare the same, you know, go out there, dominate. You know, our mindset is this. We had like a game like tonight, right? We won 49-0. Uh, but the thing about us is how do we get better? even after a 49-0 win. 
And coming over here on your left is your quarterback, J.J. McCarthy. I'm going to ask you the same question because his enthusiasm on the sideline, it's palpable on the offense. He generates some enthusiasm for you guys as well on defense. What does that mean for you on the defensive side of the ball? Um, just that, you know, we all have each other's backs. We're one team. That's what we are. We're one team. We care for each other. We lift each other up. You know, when, we're on, we're, when they're out on the field, the defense is, you know, lifting them up. Let's go offense. You know what I'm saying? Go put the ball in the end zone. Sometimes I'll, I'll walk down there. I'll tell them, hey, JJ, give us like six, seven minutes. Let us rest a little bit, and we'll get you the ball back. But uh, last year against, I think it was Illinois, he made a crazy, uh, Illinois Penn State, he made a crazy uh, throw to Blake. And since then, I've been calling him the Miracle Boy. So, uh, you know, I love that guy right there. That's my guy. Hey, and real quick, hey, come here, come here, come here. Real quick. Real Mikey, quick. thanks so much. Real quick. The adversity he went through. Well, what happened last year in that time to come out have a game like he did tonight? An interception, three, four tackles. Jaden McBurrow, stay tuned. Thank you, guys. Noah? All right, Kate, say Jaden McBurrow's again was involved in that tunnel altercation last year after the game with Michigan State. And you can tell just how excited his teammates were for him. The big plays that he made, the big time interception to certainly put the extra nail in the coffin in that fourth quarter as he will jog off all smiles with the Wolverines a 49 nothing victory and the Paul Bunyan trophy remaining in Ann Arbor.